Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look at this B&W Tow and Stow 2 ball mount for your two and a half inch hitch receiver. Now this B&W Tow and Stow adjustable ball mount is going to slide into your two and a half inch hitch receiver and this is going to let you tow a variety of trailers with different heights and having both a two inch hitch ball and a two and five sixteenths inch hitch ball is going to give you even more flexibility, making this a great ball mount for you to consider if you own multiple trailers. Now, when you are not towing, you can flip the ball mount platform around and stow it beneath your hitch so that this will not uh, bang into your shins when you're walking behind your truck. Let me give you a brief demonstration of how that's going to work. So first, I'm going to remove the, the clip and the pin for our ball here and I'm just going to make that uh, go laterally there horizontally and then replace the um, pin in the clip and um, when you put this in the horizontal position your pin and clip your pin will go through here and then when you're using either the two inch or the two and five sixteenths inch hitch ball your pin and clip will go through that hole now I'm going to go ahead and remove the clips and the pins here. Obviously this is going to work a lot uh, easier when you are uh, when this is mounted on your trailer hitch receiver. So once I have those pins and clips removed I can then fold this back behind our um, mount and slide those pins back in. Lining up those holes just like that. And then I'm not going to replace the clips, but of course you do want to replace the clips. And as you can see, that's going to be nice and uh, flat at the back of your truck. So you're not going to have to worry about damaging your shins when this is in the stowed position. And then uh, when you are ready to adjust the height, uh, the drop or the rise of this, obviously you'll flip this back to the front of our um, uh, mount and then you're just going to easily slide this up and down to wherever you need it. What's nice about this is you are not going to be struggling um, behind your vehicle when you are adjusting this. Uh, I'm just lining up my holes there and as you can see those pins slide in very smoothly, very easily and I'm going to replace the clips just like that and then let me go ahead and um, take that pin and clip out of the balls here and set that on my two inch ball so taking that pin out setting it to the two inch ball and there we go so very simple operation very easy operation and uh, the maximum drop that this is going to give you when you have this completely uh, at the lowest position uh, at, at this orientation, the maximum drop is going to be five inches. And then the maximum rise when you have this flipped over and you have this all the way up, it's going to be about four and a half inches. So you're going to get um, an, an incremental height adjustment of one inch. And to avoid this tow and stow hitting steep driveways or curbs, we do recommend at least 11 inches of clearance, 11 inches of clearance between the ground and the lowest point of the drop hitch. And as you can see there, demonstrated by that photo. Now this channel not only allows you to slide the ball mount platform up and down, to adjust the ball height, but it also prevents the removal of the platform when the ball mount is installed. And there is a slot that is cut uh, into the adjustment channel near the top of the shank here, as you can see it right there, hopefully. And that's going to, um, that, that's going to allow you to remove the ball mount platform from the shank. But to do that, you're going to actually have to remove the entire ball mount from your hitch. So if you have this secured uh, in your hitch, someone just can't walk by and yank this mount off. They would have to completely remove this to, uh, to remove this, this platform. So 
that's a great security feature that is built in to this. Now to switch the hitch ball, uh, as you saw, you're just going to simply remove this pin holding the balls in place and rotate uh, the entire block that the balls are mounted on until you get to that, the one that you want. And so as you can see, I have it right here on my two inch uh, ball. And then you'll just replace the pin and the clip uh, when you have the ball in place that you want to use. This has a gross towing weight when used with the two inch ball of 7,500 pounds as stamped there on the ball. And then when you use this with the two and five sixteenths inch hitch ball, as we have stamped right here, you're going to have a gross towing weight of 18,000 pounds. The dual process chrome plating on the balls give you excellent rust resistance. This is made here in the USA of a durable steel construction with high yield tubing that offers superior strength. The black powder coat is going to give you a great corrosion resistance. And these stainless steel pins are going to give you a sturdy rust resistant connection points. Now, B&W is known to make great products, high quality products, well built and well designed products. And this is no exception. Uh, this is, um, it, it operates very smoothly and uh, very well built, very robust. And I think it's going to be very long lasting for you. Now, some measurements that you might be interested in um, regarding uh, this uh, toe and stow. The, for instance, the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of our hitch balls, beginning with this hitch pin, <clears throat> beginning with this hitch pin hole uh, that is closest to our ball. So measuring from center to center, we're sitting right at about nine and a quarter inches. And then moving to the hitch pin hole that's farthest from the ball, we're sitting center of center about 10 and three eighths inches. And then the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the holes on our mounting block here from center to center beginning with the closest hole is about three and three quarters inches and then moving to the uh, farthest hole here about four and seven eighths inches. And then the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rear of the shank beginning with the hitch pin hole that is closest to the rear of the shank we're sitting at about two and three eighths inches. And then uh, from the hitch pin hole farthest from the rear of the shank, we're sitting at about three and a half inches. So again, that's from the center of the holes to the end of our shank. So hopefully it gives you a good idea of the size and if that's going to work on the back of your truck. I did want to point out that the hitch and pin, uh, hitch pin and clip rather, uh, are sold separately. So if you do not already have a compatible uh, hitch pin and clip, you will have to pick one up. However, this is an investment that you're making with a, um, a ball mount such as this. So I do recommend taking a look at our hitch lock options that we have available here at eTrailer. Um, uh, if you look at the related product section uh, near the lower part of this product page, there are some options there for your consideration. Well, that's going to wrap up our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.